An inspection van will quickly come for the reviewing retiring controller general to mount while well accompanied by the parade commander. The retiring controller general of immigration, Muhammad Babande, the MFR. Babandede was born on the 16th Babandede was born on the 21st of November 1963 in Malam Madaru, Jigawa State. He began his early education at Malam Madaru Primary School between secondary school Rano and thereafter got admitted into the famous Bayaro University where he obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree in History and Islamic Studies in 1984. He later obtained a Master's degree in Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice from Amadou Bello University, Zaria. Shortly after his mandatory one-year National Pretendant of Immigration too, and was a course participant of the 12th Cadet Basic Course of, at the Premier Institution of the Immigration Training School, Kano. After passing out of the Cadet Basic Course in the late 1985, he was posted to Abuja Command. This was before the official movement to the procurement unit of the NIS headquarters, that is Nigerian Immigration Service in 1988 as one of the pioneer officers and thereafter to the investigation and alliance department until 1980. He was later appointed the personal assistant to the then director of immigration service, Abbas Berba. As a dedicated and committed officer, the service found him worthy and was posted as an immigration attache in Nigerian Embassy in Bonn, and later to Consulate General of Nigerian Office in Berlin in 1991. In 1995, Muhammad Babandede returned from his tour of duty abroad and what In 2004, he headed the Nigerian Tax Force on combating the menace of trafficking in person, TIP in collaboration with the Italian tax force on same mandate. In the same year, he became the pioneer head of the anti-human trafficking unit in the service. Due to his experience in the fight against trafficking in persons, he was seconded to the Day Investigation Directorate. He remained head of operations and second in command for a five-year period that was regarded as a golden period in the war against TIP, that's trafficking in person, during which Nigeria was elevated to tier one, rating in the US Department of the State's TIP report. The retiring controller general graciously reviewed the parade who is returning to the saluting dice. He returned to the Nigerian Immigration Service as a controller in 2010 to also head the newly created Migration Unit. His robust exploit in the Migration Unit attracted massive collaborations and capacity building interventions from critical sector agencies such as the IOM, the Frontex, EU, and UND, among others, to the NIS. Got promoted to the rank of an assistant controller general in the year 2012 and was made the head of passport division. He became the deputy controller general in 2014 and was appointed the head of the then directorate of passport and operations. The position he held until 15th May 2016 when the president and the commander in chief of armed forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad, Muhammadu Buhari GCFR appointed him the 16th Controller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service. A one-time member of the Interpol, 
working group on TIP who had presented several papers and contributed to many publications at local and international fora, including Europol, Interpol, BKA Germany, Swiss Police, Finn Police, among others. The reviewing officer, the retiring controller general has adequately inspected the parade and returned to the saluting dice. While the parade commander takes permission to carry on with the rest of the parade. The rest of the parade. The retiring Comptroller General received training in many countries, institutions, and organizations, including UNICEF, UNO, UNODC, ILO, among others. That's the takeoff of the pull-out parade mounted in honor of a retiring Comptroller General, Muhammad Babandede Emeval. This is one of the honor and the first of its kind in the content of the history of immigration service. The very first time a, controller of a retiring Comptroller General is being pulled out. The retiring Comptroller General, CGI Muhammad Babandede, received numerous accolades and awards, including National Award of Member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR, bestowed on him by the then President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2015, President Goodluck Ibele Jonathan, GCFR. He is an expert in border security and migration management. Babandede's appointment and stewardship as the 16th Comptroller General of Nigerian Immigration Service remains a watershed in the history of the Nigerian Immigration Service in many ways. Think the numerous forward operations bases, FOBs, scattered around border formations, the Migrant E-Registration Center or the Model Passport Application Processing Center, and the foil dumped constructed by the CGI Conference Center at Service Headquarters, which is glaring at the point of entry, being honored in his name, Muhammad Babandede Conference Hall. The befitting entrance gate or the beautification of the service headquarters at its environs, or other numerous meaningful infrastructural projects. such as the flat houses for formations, heads, or barrack accommodation for personnel. But for the fact that the CGIS Babandede was able to initiate the construction of 20 brand new command complex offices, commissioned 12, while eight are at various stages of completion within just five years period, is something not only amazing but uncommon with uh, any government in establishment. Please, let's give them a round of applause for such amiable and wonderful achievement in the service. No doubt, every immigration before 2017 had had only seven command complexes for its own. Of its own, sorry. The CGIS Babandede is happily married to Hajia Gadatu Babandede, who is also here with us. You are most welcome, ma'am. The retiring Imowas 
Chairperson. He is a great family man and a complete gentleman. The parade commander of the pull-out parade of the Comptroller General of Immigration Service, a superintendent of Immigration Service, Daurung Mundi Israel. Israel was born on the 21st of March, 1981. Israel hails from Plateau State. Israel attended University of Just and had BA Religion and Philosophy. He joined the service. I wish at this point to crave the indulgence of very senior officers and uh, dignitaries here to rise on our feet. I expected to give hand compliment to the color at, as it processes. Should we all rise on our feet? The color is Nigeria itself. Thank you very much. You may wish, retire, wish to retire to your seats. Thank you very much for such an honor. Mundi is happily married with children and he loves traveling and sports. The two I see of the parade. Oh. Joro hails from Adamawa State. Joro attended University of Abuja and had BSc Public Administration. Joro is happy. The inside to that's the service band in her proficiency. Service band displaying. Let's give a random applause to the band as they display their own proficiency. That is the service band. The inside to the national flag. An assistant superintendent of immigration one, Akoga Richard Sangari. Richard was born on the 26th of August, 1986. Richard hails from Taraba State and attended Federal University of Technology, Yola. Richard had BSc Accounting. Twelfth of January, nineteen ninety-two. The lady hails from Gombe State and attended. Bayero University, Kano, and had BSc Sociology. The lady is happily married with kids. He loves music and reading. The insight to the rapid response color, Nuhu, Ad Nuhu Adamu. Nuhu Adamu was born on the 3rd of February, 1993. Adamu hails from Jigawa State. Adamu attended College of Education, Jigawa, and had national certificate in education. Adamu is happily married with kids. That's the pull-out parade in procession, which never... of Immigration Service, Muhammad Baban Dede. A seasoned officer he is, a pragmatic leader, a game changer, and a pest setter. Two commander, a deputy superintendent of immigration service, 
Alande Adewoyi. Adewoyi was born on the 4th of September 1977. Adewoyi hails from Ondo State. In university, I had BH Computer Science. I wish to crave our indulgence again to very senior officers, senior officers, officers and men, distinguished guests. Should we all rise on our feet as the color processes? The color, like I said, is Nigeria itself. All commissioned officers fully dressed in uniform are expected to give hand compliments to the color. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You may wish to retire to your seats. Thank you very much for such honor. The regimented sergeant major duty staff officer, also called an assistant superintendent of immigration one. Sunday attended Bayaro University, Kano, and has BSc Fiscal and Health Education. Sunday is happily married with children. Sunday loves parade and traveling. Pull-out parade in procession. In no distant time, the parade will be halting, starting with the guard one forming into line. As you can see, the parade commander returning to take his position, while the guard one comes and form into line, followed by the color and guard two in that order. After which, the parade commander will advance the parade in review order for the special guest of honor, who is the retiring Controller General of Immigration Service, Muhammad Baban Dede MFR. Who is While the parade was ongoing, we have a dignitary to grace who came to grace this occasion, Professor Isa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, the Honorable Minister of Communication and Digital Economy. You are most welcome, sir, to the pullout parade of the retiring Controller General. Got one all thing. Color party. Let's get to. Let's give them a round of applause for a wonderful halting. Let's give them a round of applause. That is only in a regimented organization. Red. Right, will not pass the review order. And is that time? Quick, pass.
Let's give them a round of applause. A wonderful one there, a wonderful hot team. Like I said, this is only exceptional Ooh, to God. coordinated minds. Donati! Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the day. A great day indeed in the history of Nigeria Immigration Service. This event is the first of its kind in the honors of the service. We are pleased to have this massive presence of our friends, of government functionaries, witnessing this epoch-making event. Without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. I have this honor to invite this man, the 16th Controller General of Nigeria Immigration Service. I have had opportunities before now to invite him to commission a project, to invite him to declare a training program for the officers and men of the service. I have had the honor to invite him to launch a publication for the service. But this very morning, at this particular point in time, I'm inviting this to the officers and men he has mentored, and that is Muhammad Babandede MFR, the 16th Comptroller General, Nigeria Immigration Service, pulling out graciously pulling out excellently, and pulling out beautifully. CGI, sir. So, the Minister of Interior, who was also a former governor, uh, Ogbeni Raup Arikbe, the executive governor of Jigawa State, Al Haji Muhammad Badaru, OAN, the executive governor of Jigawa State. Thank you for coming. I would like to recognize distinguished Senator Alade Sankara, Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished Senator Ibrahim Hassan Hadeja, distinguished Senator representing my very constituency. I would like to recognize also Honorable uh, Sani Zangon Daura, Nasru Sani Zangon Daura, who is chairman, House Committee of Interior. Uh, I would like to, and we join the team, S uh, my good friend, Minister Malang Isa Fantani. I had just you joined. Thank you, you are for coming. Uh, I would like to recognize other dignitaries, and forgive me if I fail to follow the protocol because it has given to me like that online. I would like to recognize the Inspector General of Police, uh, my dear good friend, my good brother. Thank you for coming. Despite your busy schedule, you have been here. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I would like to recognize the, uh, Mr. Malan Kashfu, my junior brother, DG Nita, Ahmed Zakari, Presidency, SA to Mr. President on Infrastructure. Uh, Ms. And then, I would like to recognize my own Emir. My own Emir is very key that he's here himself. Uh, he had left Abuja just a day, and he returned to come back to Abuja. I really thank you, uh, Dr. Adamu Abubakar Majid, CON, Emir of Hadeja, and Chairman of Jigawa uh, MS Council, Emirate Council. Uh, I would like to recognize other dignitaries, uh, such as uh, for organizing a beautiful send forth for me. Uh, let me recognize the DG budget. I think he's here because he knows his budget has been well spent. Uh, thank you for coming, DG budget. Uh, I would like to recognize other dignitaries uh, who are here. The CG Civil Defense, my good colleague, uh, the representative of uh, Correctional Service, the representative of NDLA, 
I would like to recognize very important personality who has joined us, the paramilitary team, Major General M.G. Kange, Nigerian Army, who represents the Chief of Army Staff. Thank you for coming. That's a sign of cooperation between the military and the paramilitary system. Thank you for coming. The, before, the former CGs who are here, I must recognize and welcome the powerful Iron Lady, Mrs. Rose Uzoma, retired CGI. I will also recognize the Sarikin Kibia, Senator UK Umar, who is who retired as an acting CG. So you are welcome. Also, Rabi Musa, Arbi Musa, who also retired as an acting CG. Please, if I fail the protocol, forgive me, because I'm the last speaker in this forum. It is a great opportunity for me to stand before this beautiful gathering to make a remark on my successful exit as a public servant after an interesting sojourn. Looking back at memory lane, particularly when I received my first letter of appointment in September 1985, exactly 36 years ago, I have lost count of the privileges I continue to enjoy as a member of the NAS family. My special gratitude is to Allah in Nigeria. I certainly cannot forget the greatest and brightest of them all, which is my appointment at the 16th Comptroller General of Nigerian Immigration Service on the 16th of May 2016. After five years, four months as Chief Executive of NIS, it is time to go home when the ovation is high. <laughs> Thanks always goes to Allah for every unconceivable favors on me from the day I was born to the day I will die. So many people have influenced my career. Many have died, and some are here, even seated right here. I always attribute my knowledge and skill to my former bosses, the late directors and controller generals of immigrations, such as late Mahmoud Damulak, Sahabi Dange, of blessed memory, late Lady Nguizu, and late Al Haji Garba Abbas. I can't forget the influence of CGIs like Senator UK Umar, Mr. Chukura Ude, Lady Uzoma, who is here in person, Arbi Musa, who is present, David Paradan, and NKA Abeshi. Most of them used to call me for challenging jobs. God knows such calls and entering their offices terrifies me. I am honored that my gratitude goes to Abdurrahman, General Abdurrahman Dambazau, who recommended my name to Mr. President for appointment, and to Agbeni Rauf Arek Goshala, for not only the good working relationship, but recommending to Mr. President, without me knowing, for a one-year extension, which brought me to this time. <laughs> the one-year extension is significant to me and the service. I was able to complete my flagship project, the technology building. I'm going to miss my debate with Agbeni his strong opinion and tasking. On Thursday, I insisted on himself to commission the conference center on the right, which you are seeing straight here. Ogbeni gave me the biggest surprise and named the center after me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Minister, for immortalizing me in this beautiful city of immigration. After my appointment, we organized a strategic meeting in Kano where we developed Strata, a situation where we had some of our offices operating in deplorable conditions and environment, especially for an arms bearing organization, was quite challenging. We went into action and had to promise that we shall build at least two commands building complex each year. Thanks to God, we did not fail. The Sokoto State Command Office Complex Commission two weeks ago was the 12th of such office complex we built and delivered within a period of stewardship. <laughs> there are eight commands building at different stages of completion. Furthermore, we noticed gap in availability of operational document in the system, and we consider it less than appropriate, especially for the preservation of institutional memory. At this last count, we have delivered 14 operational text publications, including annual report, 
which has remained consistent since 2016. It is important to mention documents such as the Nigeria Immigration Strategy 2016 to 2019, which is the founding foundation of our reforms. Three, developed with the support of EU and the supervision of IOM, will assist in border security, regional integration, and tackling human rights issues, including corruption. Nigerian Visa Policy 2020, launched by Mr. President, is the first comprehensive approach of developing a visa policy that addresses our socioeconomic needs as a nation. The task before the next leadership is effective implementation. We are almost set to launch the one year global, the one global visa, which makes Nigeria visa processing more efficient and transparent. The e-border project has commenced, where 84 land borders will be monitored real time online with pilot case linking headquarters to one of the border patrol courts already existing. Our border security and migration management efforts got some useful interventions to the extent that most of our control posts have been upgraded and installed with the modern communication and logistic facilities. Our migration information and data analysis system, MIDAS, has been described by IOM as the largest and most complex system in the world. We have successfully connected all national, international airports and 23 land borders to MIDAS platform. With this facility, generation and processing of migrant travel history has been simplified while intelligence gathering and information sharing capacity have been improved. I would like to seize this opportunity to thank all our donors and IOM for agreeing to establish MIDAS Center of Excellence in NA headquarters. The center will be a world reference point. The functionality of MIDAS platform has received tremendous boost with the establishment of Interpol desk in the technology building. We applied and got the key to operate Interpol platform. And within a few months of our connection, we have successfully uploaded over 150,000 stolen and lost passport documents to the database. With the facility, we are now able to trace and track international crime and criminal groups for necessary action. On this regard, I would like to thank the Inspector General of Police, the police itself for that cooperation. Uh, thank some of our border planks. The facility which has offices and residential features for the operatives are equipped with modern patrol, communication, and logistic gadgets. Operatives stationed in each of the facilities patrol borders planks in their location to ensure their irregular migrants, especially those who unauthorized crosses, are checked. The commissioning of Daura forward operational base brought the number of such operational bases to 14, while so many others are near construction. Uh, it is sad I had wanted to commission the Jigawa forward operational bases in uh, Berniwa, but I hope that will be commissioned even when I'm away. Uh, sometime in 2017, we embarked on deliberate upgrade of our website with view of making it user-friendly, especially for visa and passport applicants. That done, we revolutionized the visa application process and introduced the visa on arrival facilities. We pursued the reform very vigorously in conformity with the ease of doing business. And before the end of the year, a lot of high net worth investors have been attracted into the country. The country's rating on global ease of doing business index improved, and NIS got the award with the best reform-minded government agency in Nigeria. <laughs> we deepened the reforms effort across our service windows, including passport administration and issuance. During our annual conference held in Abekuta in 2018, where we reviewed our e-passport document and processes, we consider it a necessary in line with the global migratory development to introduce the enhanced e-passport. The process and document reforms issued in a simplified passport application process and channels, while the passport document itself got enriched with enhanced security features. The polycarbonate enhanced passport introduced was the desire to answer to the request of our diaspora population who have asked for elongated passport validity. The polycarbonate enhanced passport we have introduced recently comes with a five and 10 years validity. 
this effort has been applauded by some members holders, of, uh, including public affairs commentators. The Honourable Minister Interior is about to roll out the first enhanced passport outside the country in London. Sometimes in 2017, we realized that our service headquarters lacked some office structure to complement existing ones, and we felt that the situation was not adding up enough to our desired effective and efficient service delivery. We want to work and before long, we turned the entire landscape into construction site of a sort. The airport delivered some transit camps, accommodation, modern central store, as you can see from here, driver's lounge, new mechanic workshop, fuel dump facility, fire stations, digital training room, sport facility, and yesterday, Honorable Minister commissioned, no, on, Friday, on Thursday, Honorable Minister commissioned the Mohammed Babandede Conference Center. We have an ultra-modern clinic construction on the way in the headquarters. Our staff welfare will reverse the huge long situation where personnel had to stay for long without promotion. We ensure that promotion exercises are organized nearly for all eligible personnel. Available records have it that over 15,000 number of workforce have enjoyed one form of elevation or the other since 2016. The service is grateful to the ministers who chaired the board, directors, commissioners, and other board members. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen who are here present, it shall remain a source of immense joy to me that we are able to deliver and place centrally in the nation of security architecture. It is a revolution indeed. In the edifice, the NIS sees the world feels the world, relate with the world, and contribute its quota to both national and international security. <laughs> By simply touching a button. That's the difference. Just a button makes the difference. With the technology building, we have delivered one of the most robust, complex, pragmatic security migration management agency in the world. That's immigration today. Today, NIS paperless agency, the bulk of what we do is electronic. This is not only a super milestone, but a fantastic and should be sustained. The implication of going digital is enormous. Less staffs in the offices and more our staff to be posted to the borders. Transparency, efficiency, and flexibility. As I end this speech, distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, I consider it important to call for the deepening of those efforts and gesture that have held us together as one big family. I counsel all and appreciate each other and allow enough space for everybody to operate and make useful contribution to our great service and nation as I exit. I desire to continue to read and hear about beautiful development in this great family. I wish to continue to hear about news of greater heights and meaningful achievement for NIS and greater unity among the rank and files of the service. I desire to be informed that succeeding leaders of this elite service have surpassed our efforts and moved it more available height. I don't want to hear Mabande is the greatest. I want to hear my successes are the greatest. <laughs> May I at this junction make it very clear that I'm lucky to be the system controller general during the presidency of Muhammad Buhari, DCFR. President Muhammad Buhari is like Napoleon Bonaparte, who said, when I give minister an order, I have it to him, I leave it to him to find the means to carry it out. I found my way. When I, it's very clear that everybody has the opportunity and the president has given him and we have done it very well. The environment is free without interference and our budgetary releases have reached almost 100% only in the time of Buhari administration, almost 100%. The ministers and permanent secretaries I work with accept a professional argument above their political agenda. 
It is time to thank the president for finding me fit to be appointed the system control general of Nigerian Immigration Service. May I use this medium to thank my governor, the executive governor of Jigar State, Muhammad Badr Abubakar, MON, for honoring me despite his busy schedule. Thank you, my brother. My Emir, His Royal Highness Dr. Adamu Abubakar Maji, Chairman of Jigar State Traditional Council, came. My, may I use the medium to thank Governor, uh, I said so, and I'd like to thank my Emir and also my Minister and also my Permanent Secretary, Permanent Secretary Balbori. Thank you. You are new, but you are active in making sure we succeed very well. Thank you, Permanent Secretary. I must not fail to mention my primary school mates who started school in 1969, <laughs> but still keep the relation and join to celebrate me today. My secondary school classmates are also here. We, we call ourselves Robert 80. I equally have my university mates, BUK 84, and lastly, my 12 basic course mates who started the journey together with me in 1985. Can I call on all my mates to stand up for recognition? Please, can you stand up? Sec primary, secondary, university, please. Can you give them a round of applause, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have fought the good fight of loyalty to my fatherland. I have made my contribution, and it remains my prayer that greater glory await us all in the immigration family. I can't afford to conclude without mentioning the tremendous support I got from my family, especially my lovely wife, Gadati. Every morning, she packages me like a nursery student, <laughs> but return home physically and emotionally challenged, but still manage to repackage me for another day. Thank you, madam. Uh, my wife has done something extraordinary out of home. The building of modern shopping complex for, for the organizations of IMOA has been successfully completed. You can see it right here. It is done by her. Thank you, madam, for not only helping home, but also helping the office. To all officers and men, thank you for contributing in the overall development of the entire service. My heart's gladden when I see entire technology is managed by these young officers. Our leaders in the country must find a way to keep talented working men in the public service before they take away by others who are interested in them. This is very key. Young people, well talented, but public service has no special place for them. We need to find a way to keep them. In conclusion, it is important to note that we have provided infrastructure, developed policies, manuals, and created conducive environment. I therefore call on the leadership to sustain, maintain, and implement. My sincere gratitude is to the acting CGI and his team, especially the organizing committee, for this wonderful arrangement. I am delighted to be the first CGI to be pulled out. <laughs> My special gratitude is to all invited guests, the media, ladies and gentlemen. Farewell, everyone. Long live NIS. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless as I bow out. That was the retiring Comptroller General. Let's still give him a round of applause. Sir, your presence will be missed, but your achievement remain indelible in the hearts of officers and men of the service. We're so much proud of you. Sir General, at this very point in time, at this very point in time, I wish to invite the Minister of Interior Ogbeni Arabeshola for every brief remark, sir. I, I pray it will be brief. Auzu billahi minash shaitani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim 
وقل الحمد لله الذي لم يتعز ولدا لم يكن له شريك في الملك لم يكن له ولي من الذل وكبره تكبيرا سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم those who know me know that uh, i start my public speeches like that for the benefit of those who are no muslims what have labored to say in arabic is that all praise is due to god because he is the sovereign of the world and that god you are the greatest god you are the greatest that said let's recognize those we must recognize there my friend and a colleague at the time the governor of jigawa muhammadu badaru abubakar thank you for coming it's a pleasure to have you here I recognize the Emir of Adija. Thank you. I know those who are, who are strict about protocol will say, why that? Yes. I am a lover of tradition. Distinguished Senator Danladi Sankara. Thank you for coming. My dear brother, Honorable Sani Sangundaura, Chairman House Committee on Interior. I recognize you and I think I've satisfied all the National Assembly requirements in that regard. I recognize my cabinet mates, Professor Pantami, the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy. I recognize the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Interior, Dr. Shaibe Gore. Senator Ibrahim Azan, Malam Kashifi Inwa Nitida, Ahmed Zakari Presidency, Jaja Abrugani DCG Fire, these characters, IGP Alkali Baba Usman. It's beautiful to have you here fine officer and a gentleman. <clears throat> ben Akabe is a DG budget. I wouldn't follow the sentiment of the retiring man. I'm still in service. So I just recognize you. I recognize you, DG budget. You know, I recognize and respect you. <laughs> Uh, no sentiment at all. I just have to recognize it. <laughs> and I thank you for coming. Dangala Dima, BCG Retired Custom, A. A. Audi, CG, Civil Defense, Tunjula Dipo, DCG Correctional Service, representing the CG. Who has gone to Kaba to oversee the dastardly incident that happened there overnight? Painful, but we are on top of it and we shall deal with it. Dr. Muhammad Malami, NDLA representative, executive secretary of board, commissioners in the board, and directors. My sister, Abikeda Biri, Oshio, for coming. And diaspora, Abi, it's nice. All the directors from the ministry, classmates of the retiring CG, the Immigration Officer Wife Association, 
Greetings to you for your care and devotion to your husbands. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to, to say a few words here. I represent the president. So if I don't talk, if I not be appropriate, when a fine officer and a gentleman like Muhammad Babanede retires, it's important to make some few comments so as to register forever our own opinion about him. I titled my speech, A Fine Officer and a Gentleman Never Retires. It gives me great pleasure to be present at this momentous occasion. And we must, we must thank the enhanced by the beauty of this place. And I commend the towering CG and the entire officers and men of the service. Congratulations. The pull-out ceremony of the outgoing controller general of the Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, Alaji Muhammad Babandinde the 16th controller general of the NIS and the first one of the entire 16 to be ceremoniously pulled out this way. That speaks, that fact speaks to two things. Speaks to two things. Speaks to the efficiency and dedication of our president. I don't doubt about that. All the other transitions are all rancorous, uncoordinated. One will not want to go, the other will be struggling to come. So in the altercation, nobody, nobody remembers ceremony. Confusion. Confusion. So what we are witnessing today is a result of discipline, organization, and commitment with focus. And that credit goes to President Muhammadu Buhari without a doubt. The second is the fact that we are resetting government. Everything now is meticulously done procedurally. And that is what is happening. The process of selecting, and I have to say this quickly, the process of selecting the new CG is not arbitrary. Is following a due process. That is why somebody is standing in for that process to be completed. And again, we must commend the president for allowing due process and not just arbitrary impunity. So, commendation to you for being the first to witness and not that you'll be drawing the curtain on a glorious career after 36 years of meritorious service to the nation, to the Nigeria Immigration Service. I congratulate him and his wife for the joy of today and for finishing well. The only Quran in uh, Ali Isra, that is Quran chapter 17, verse 80, says something that's relevant here. It's a prayer. And the prayer goes thus, O oh Allah, grant me entry through the gate of truth and exit through the gate of truth and support me with authority from yourself. I doubt if you said that prayer when you were coming in, that God has answered that prayer for you. People who are Muslims who want to take offices, that is a very, very relevant and appropriate prayer. If Allah grants you honorable entry through the gate of truth and as it through the gate of truth, what else do you need? You are witnessing it here today. Entry, we don't know how. I want to believe through the, through the gate of truth, but God has granted you as it through the gate of truth. May he support you with authority from himself. Amen. 
He was one of the few people that made my job as minister less challenging. He brought at my disposal his wealth of experience and his encyclopedic mind on anything immigration. I cherish this and I thank him. Rauf, are you sure you are conversant enough with this project and process to allow this man to go? And I'm not a man that will flatter myself. I answered, I said no. I wrote the president, President, sir, <laughs> if, if efficiency is the basis of my posting to this ministry, I will need this man to still be here for one more year so as to be able to fully understand the rigor of that of the service and happily the president approved the extension you didn't need to consult me knowing my shortcoming and the need to make up i decided to i decided to seek the presidential approval for your extension and i'm happy god permitted him to allow it congratulations nigeria immigration service as he brought many innovations to the service the most remarkable one is the migration information data analysis system midas which enabled the Nigerian Immigration Service to coordinate movements of persons at the four airport borders and upload information on missing and stolen passport to Interpol on 24-7 basis. Nigeria sits proudly among the countries in the world that have attained this feat. And there are very few. I'm not sure if there is any other African nation that has attained that feat. This is one of the demands of the United States of America in our recent engagement over issues of mutual concern. Under him, the NIS has consistently presented annual reports. Annual reports are stuff of the private sector, a key requirement of corporate governance and accountability. This is rare if not strange to the public sector. But Babande, they did it here. But again, he was able to put this through. Under his watch, the Nigerian Immigration Service completed and commissioned its National Command and Control Center, the Technology Building. This is the repository for all data in the custody of Nigeria Immigration Service. And this data could come in from land, ter terrestrial, and actually terrestrial stations. Any, any, any source that immigration station or substation is, as they are working, it is being registered and stored at the, at the NIS technology building. Here, yeah, that's it there. It is also the coordinating center for MIDAS. He spoke about it. He began the e-border program with my predecessor, General Dabanzao. It is a work it is still a work in progress. We are, not yet, we, are, we, are, we are about to really commence the project, but he started that with my predecessor. When this is completed, the entire stretch of 4,047 kilometer land borders will be under electronic surveillance on 24 7 basis. This will take out a significant security challenge from the land border and make our country safer. He developed the Nigeria visa policy. He also pioneered the visa on arrival policy of government, a move that will boost tourism and attract high net worth individuals that add value to the country. He equally developed a border management manual. As a matter of fact, that was what he welcomed me to the ministry with. We had a session in Lagos. In his last days in office, two weeks ago, I want to assume, he presented the service code of conduct and ethics and superintended over the transition from the manual administrative documentation and operations to electronic data management system. He cooperated maximally with the Ministry of Interior in batting many of these innovations and has written his name in gold. The ministry began a reform at the Nigeria Immigration Service and it is ongoing. This reform is aimed principally at efficient and transparent passport issuance system. 
citizenship integrity, and elimination of corruption at every interface with the public and efficient border management in order to effectively secure the country through our borders. Regrettably, this is, this is, on this is unfinished business. It's an ongoing business. You couldn't finish it. Nobody finishes anything on earth. You do your bit and you leave. You would have loved to be the one to bring it to a logical conclusion, but unfortunately it is not possible. It is my sincere hope that his successor will pick up the gauntlet and successfully complete the reform. The reform on passport issuance, ensuring his integrity, and ensuring that citizens do not wait endlessly to get passports. We are yet to pull that through completely, but I am very hopeful that his successor will pull it the leakages that we experience there. Goodbye is a sad word. But we shall remain in touch. An officer never retires in or out of office. A grateful nation will also tap on our officers whenever the need arises. I, people don't know when they see me with my almost fierce Islamic outlook. They wouldn't know that I attended the Christian school. I attended Christian schools all my life except the college. So the song that comes to my mind here is God be we till till we meet again, meet again. May his love mean and surround you and you. Then the chorus is this farewell to you, farewell to you. Until we meet again, meet again. My holy hope, how faithful will it be until we meet again. When we break for holidays, those are the songs we sing. It's called songs of praise. Uh, I remember several years ago, but we sing for ourselves when we go on holidays. So it's nice. Goodbye is a sad word, but at times it could be interesting. I've, I've had this experience several times, so it's not a strange thing to me. It, 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 it's nice, but it is when you get home that you, tomorrow that you know that you, you have no office to go to, and I'm happy for your wife. I must not fail to thank and commend the service that produced such a fine officer and gentleman. It is an institution, and I will remain. It is an institution, I mean NIS, and I will remain proud all forever. I am proud to be associated with Nigerian Immigration Service, one, for what they must do for the nation, and for proudly presenting an officer like this. So you, you stimulate my own interests, and I'm proud to be associated with you. I salute all the officers and men of this agency. That supported the outgoing controller general and made his tenor a success. We shall all be celebrated too in due course. I salute and thank also the staff of the Ministry of Interior, especially the board and the permanent secretaries, which or who the man they worked with. His success is your success. Is the crowning glory of all your ministerial efforts. Alhamdulillah. Last but not the least, I must thank and commend his family, particularly his lovely wife, that managed the home front successfully, enabling him to concentrate on his job. For our love, our devotion, our care, our goodwill and sacrifice. Without all those very, very important attributes, madam, would have had him. Whatever you hear or say about your husband is to your glory because you made it possible. Men brag, men usually brag that they are this, they are that. It is because you have a lovely wife. If your wife torments you for one day, you can never consider. As he begins the challenging transition to civilian life, I commend him into the safe and comforting hand of the Most High God to keep and protect him 
and create a new part of its use for him in the unending needs of service to the divine and humanity. And I want to end my speech with this prayer of Ibrahim. May the peace and blessing of God be upon him. When Ibrahim was 40, he was, he was, he was, he asked God, he said, Oh Allah, grant me honorable mention on the tongue of truth among the latest generation. Momodu Baba may Allah grant you honorable mention on the tongue of truth among the latest generation. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Raouf Arekbesola. At this very point in time, I wish to... Please, the special guest of honor, the retiring Comptroller General, who may wish to exchange pleasantries with your dignitaries. Well, we'll crave the indulgence of the very senior officers, police, service chiefs, or their representatives here present, the ranks of an assistant Comptroller General, Deputy Comptroller General of the Service, the acting Comptroller General of the Service, uh, to mount the pulling van while it takes post to pull out the retiring controller general. Please, the pulling van should quickly take post. The pulling van quickly take post. While the retiring controller general exchange pleasantries with the dignitaries who honor this very occasion, this very ranks, the service rank from the ranks of our assistant controller general to the deputy controller general and the acting controller general. The service chiefs here present or their representatives are to mount the pulling van as we pull the retiring controller general. Thank you very much for honoring this occasion of the pulling out parade. The pulling van, please take post. The pulling van advance. While the special guest of honor returned to the saluting dice for a three hearty chairs, then the pulling van will take pause for these respective ranks we saw we invited to mount the pulling rope. The special guest of honor, please return to the saluting dice. The special guest of honor returned to the saluting dice for a three hearty chairs. Thank you, thank you, Mr. The music, the music, the music, the music, the music, go down, go down, music, low, low. Thank you very much, the music. The music, please. We remove headdresses. Remove headdresses. We'll give three hearty cheers to the retiring controller general, Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohammed Babandere. MFR! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, hip, hip! Right, we we'll replace headrests! Replace headrests! Should we all rise on our feet as we observe the national anthem? Should we all rise on our feet as we observe the national anthem? Commissioned officers fully dressed in uniform to give hand this compliments. Is the time is building something concrete. We have reached the peak of our career. I have built the technology building. She has built 
the ultra-modern market. We commend you for supporting us and God bless you. Red Commander, they are marching to invite the special guest of honor, who is the retiring controller. March past the, the parade and fall out the colors. A permission which has been graciously granted. This very event marked the very end of his, the retiring controller general official interaction with the service. This marks the formal interaction, the end of the formal interaction with the oh, service. The colors! I wish to crave the indulgence of our officers, very senior officers, fully dressed in uniform, to give Ooh, hand salute the to the color at the, as it processes. We all rise on our feet as the color processes. The color is Nigeria itself. Commissioned officers fully dressed in uniform are expected to give hand compliments to the color. The color simplifies the country itself. That's why we have the Nigerian flag. Thank you very much. You may wish to retire to your seats. Wish to retire to your seats. At this very point, quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Parade will reform two ranks. Form two ranks. Move to your right and left. Right and left turn. Guard commanders. Sub guard commanders. Van. Full in van. Take pose. That's the pulling van mounted by an assistant controller general, deputy controller general, acting controller general. Service chiefs here present, or their representatives.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now invite the representative of the Chief of Army Staff, the Inspector General of Police, Service Chiefs or their representative of the paramilitary agencies, the ranks of the Deputy Comptroller General, Assistant Comptroller General, Acting Comptroller General of the Service, to please mount the pulling van. Thank you very much. Thank you very much as you honor this invitation. Service chiefs or their representatives which may wish to join this, please do so. And her period of technology building, she has built the ultra modern market. We commend you for supporting us and God bless you. Smiling every day to see the tears. Sure, but the floor. <laughs> <Put At this very point in time, I wish to request the pleasure of the retiring Comptroller General, together with his lovable wife, to climb the pulling out van. This event 
like I said, marks the very end of the retiring Comptroller General's interaction, formal interaction with the service. However, that does not close his interaction with the service. This marks the official outing of his stewardship in the service. To be joined is his wife. We do not rise, we not pass, it's slow time. Should we all rise as we bid him a farewell? Lord, march. That's the pulling out parade of the retiring Comptroller General. He is bidding the farewell, the final farewell to the service. This marks the very end of his official interaction with the officers and men of the Nigerian Immigration Service. Who is graciously pulled by the acting Comptroller General of the Service, Issa Idris Jere, Trollers General. It is an epoch making event as far as the content of the history of the Immigration Service is concerned. This is the first time the service is experiencing such an event. This has been the best. This will be the best. Henceforth, all controllers general will be pulled out. This is a warm farewell goodbye to you. The controller, the retiring controller general Muhammad Babandede MFR. In a warm farewell goodbye with his wife accompanied is his wife. Gadatu. Mrs. Gadatu has been a wonderful helping hand to our retiring Comptroller General. See you in your civilian life out there. We wish to have more of you as the service progresses. Well, thank you very much, our distinguished guests. Very senior officers of the military, Nigerian police force, paramilitary agencies, traditional rulers, senators, House of Reps members, governors, other dignitaries here present. We are so much proud of you. We appreciate you made this very occasion colorful. You made this occasion worthwhile. It is your presence that beautifies this very without your presence here. It wouldn't have been this complete. We appreciate your presence. We appreciate your coming. Thank you for finding out of your scarce time to honor this very occasion. That is the retiring Comptroller General being pulled out by the acting Comptroller General of Immigration Service, Deputy Comptroller General, Assistant Comptroller General.